Welcome to an advanced watch folder tutorial for PureNet's Document Conversion Service, DCS for short. This video introduces you to our newest watch folder feature, the ability to flatten nested input folder structures when saving the converted files to the output folder, available in DCS Release 319. This feature may be interesting to you if the next stage in your workflow after conversion by DCS requires the file to be saved to a single folder. Perhaps the next stage in your workflow is to send the files to an archiving system or upload the files to an FTP, and the system you employ cannot handle subdirectories. By default, Watch Folder Service will maintain any input folder file structure when dropping converted files into the output folder. With this added feature, you now have the option to choose to flatten the folder structure that exists in the input folder and save all created files directly at the root of the output folder. It is important to note, however, that if you choose to flatten the folder structure, the possibility of file name collisions exists, meaning that files of the same name can be created. If files of the same name are created and saved to the same folder, the more recently created file will override the older file automatically. To address the issue of file name collisions, DCS 319 also includes the ability to automatically create unique output names using a global unique identifier, or a GUID. A GUID is a string of alphanumerical characters. This identifier can be added before, after, or both before and after the original file name and with or without the dashes. It can be separated from the original file name by a designated character or characters. This automatic global naming includes support for clustered conversion, meaning the global naming will work if you have multiple servers running DCS, all working on the same input folder and dropping created files into the same output folder. It's worth noting that enabling GUID file naming is not only available if you are flattening the folder structure in the output folder. You can choose to enable this feature for any watch folder section at any time if ensuring unique file naming is of concern to you. Moreover, both the flatten feature and the GUID file naming feature are set per watch folder section. Therefore, you can choose to flatten the output folder and add GUID file naming for one watch folder section while maintaining the folder structure and not using GUID file naming for another watch folder section. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to work through an example where a consulting company has created a folder in their input folder for each of their clients. Within each client folder, there are additional folders containing quotes, invoices, contracts, and support records. The consulting company needs to convert all documents stored within their input folder to Adobe PDFs. In addition, they need the output folder structure to be flattened to a single folder so that the output files are available for pickup by the next stage in their document workflow. First, ensure that you are running DCS 319 or higher. If you need to update to DCS 319, please see our Updating or Upgrading Document Conversion Service video. To edit the watch folder configuration file, we first need to make sure that watch folder service is stopped. Go to Start, Document Conversion Service, Stop Watch Folder Service. Then open the watch folder configuration file and scroll down to the watch folder section you want to edit. For this example, we are using the default watch folder section called Convert to Adobe PDF. We'll begin with setting the input and output folder paths to the location we require. If you wish to map these folders to shared folders on your network, watch our Changing the Logon Account video for steps to set watch folder service to monitor network folders. The staging and working folders are used during the conversion process as scratchpad areas and are best to be local to your computer and not on a network shared volume. For more information on configuring folder paths, see our Configure Watch Folder video. Now we will edit the output option settings in order to flatten our input folder structure to a single output folder. 
By default, output folder maintain input folder structure is set to true, which means that the input folder structure is being maintained in the output folder. We need to change this value to false. Due to the change we've just made, we now run the risk of experiencing file name collisions, where two files of the same name are created and override one another. To ensure unique naming in the output folder, we need to activate global unique identifier file naming. For this example, we will add a GUID after the original file name. To do this, change the value for output folder append unique GUID to file name to true. If you wanted to add the GUID before the original file name, you would need to change the value for output folder pre-append unique GUID to file name to true. Alternatively, you can add a GUID before and after the original file name by making both values true. Output folder remove hyphens from GUID allows you to choose whether or not you want dashes in the GUID. Output folder unique GUID separator character allows you to designate a specific character or characters to separate the GUID from the original file name. By default, it is separated by an underscore. Save the watch folder configuration file. Now we will restart watch folder service to implement our changes. Click Start, Document Conversion Service, Start Watch Folder Service. Now we can test our changes. Here we can see that our Word document has been successfully converted to PDF and is being saved at the root of the output folder with a GUID added after the original file name. The last thing I wanted to note is how a flattened output folder will handle the conversion of an MSG file with attachments. DCS can convert Outlook MSG files as well as any files attached to the email. For instructions on how to activate Message Attachment Extraction, see our Extract MSG Attachment video. When you maintain the input folder file structure in the output folder, the converted MSG file and all its attachments are saved in a folder named after the MSG file name. When you choose to flatten the output folder file structure, all of these files are saved at the root. You can find these settings explained further in the user guide under Converting Files with Document Conversion Service unique file naming and flat folder structures. Be sure to check out our Getting Started series for Document Conversion Service, or watch some of our more advanced tutorials to learn how to customize DCS further and achieve optimal conversion performance. We are always available to help with configuration and answer any questions you have about setup or the product. If you are looking for an enterprise solution to streamline your business processes and boost efficiency, our document conversion service is right for you. If you haven't done so already, follow the link below to download your free trial.